Mental Health Monday on KCAL 9 is sponsored by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Losing a loved one is extremely difficult. It can be especially hard when the loss is considered traumatic. In today's Mental Health Monday segment, KCAL 9's Danya Bacchus visited a place bereaved family members can go to to give and receive connection, compassion, and understanding. On this 10-acre farm, just outside of Sedona, Arizona, <laughs> horses, goats, cows, and other animals are helping people heal. I lost my newborn daughter in 1994, and there was no place for me to go. Arizona State University professor Dr. Joanne Cacciatore opened the Sella Care Farm five years ago. It's a one-of-a-kind refuge for the traumatically bereaved, those who've lost a child, sibling, parent, or partner to homicide, suicide, an accident, or unexpected death. We teach people, you know, how to build the emotional and psychological strength to endure this. Memories of lives lost are throughout the farm. Silver medallions etched with their names. And these plaques give the people who come here permission to grieve. When you lose a child, people don't People don't know what to say. Jill LaFort Carroll's daughter, Sierra, died seven years ago. All of a sudden you're validated because these other people are having these same experiences. Visitors participate in grief counseling, yoga, and meditation. But Cacciatore feels the most transformative experiences happen in the field. Have you found that each animal provides a different level of comfort? All of our clients have a particular animal they bond with. All of the animals have been rescued from neglect or abuse. And I think a lot of them can feel my trauma too. A special connection. They don't think we should move on. They just accept who we are right now. Bringing hope and comfort to those who need it the most. Donya Backus, CBS News, Cornville, Arizona.